Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this new English lesson. This lesson is for the third intermediate, the second semester. The subject is English, full blast six. The lesson is 4B, the great outdoors. It's the second part of the lesson, grammar, speak, and write. The lesson was prepared and will be presented by Mrs. Artidal al -Ghamli. For today's objectives, today we are going to identify structure of, of the recorded speech. Then we are going to write a paragraph about true events. Okay. Now look at these pictures. This is a warm up. Now, who said that he saved the children? Yes, very good. So the fireman is the one who said that the, save, uh, the children were saved. Okay. And what did the reporter say? Here's the reporter. What did she say? She repeated. The fireman's words and said, a fireman said that all the children had been saved. Yes, very good. So we are going to speak about reported speech. Today's grammar is about reported speech. Let's see. All the children have been saved. So we have quotes. This is what we call a direct speech because it's said or uttered from the fireman's mouth. Okay, this is what he said directly. And then the reporter came and then she said, a fireman said, she didn't say these words, but the fireman uh, said, she's telling us what did he say. A fireman said that all the children had been saved. So this is what we call direct speech. That is directly from the fireman himself or from the person or agent who said the words by himself. And this is what we call a reported speech. She's reporting what others say. Okay. Now, how to form a reported speech in commands and requests? Okay, we have commands. As long as we have a command, then the sentence will start with a verb. Yes, because it's a command. So we will have the first one in positive sentences. Yes, it's not uh not with a, a not or a negative uh, choice then we have the quotes because it's a direct speech we are going to say roll the dice quickly so she gave him a command an order or a request said ryan so ryan is telling her to roll the dice quickly maybe she's playing with the dice so he gave her a command now, how are we going to report the sentence? He said, Ryan asked, okay, or maybe we say ordered or commanded. Ryan asked, we have before the main verb, we're going to add to and then write the verb and the rest of the sentence. Ryan asked to roll the dice quickly. Okay, note. In reported statements or commands, we delete the quotation marks. And number two, we bring the name of a person who requested to the beginning and then insert asked or said after the person who requested. Okay. Now, how to form a reported speech and commands and requests in negative sentences, like when we say, don't play with us, said Sarah. No, you hear, you see they are all together and they don't want her to play with them. So they're saying, don't play with us, said Sarah. Now let's bring the name at the beginning. We say, Sarah said, okay. Not to play with us, not or not to play with them. Sarah said not to play with them. Don't becomes not to, and then we complete. Us will transfer into them. Okay. Note. We have the same note here. Delete quotation marks. Bring the name of a person who requested to the beginning. Insert at said or ordered after the person who requested don't will change to not to okay now 
how to form a reported speech. Let's see, direct speech. We have the quotations. Use the bucket to wash the car. Don't make a mess, my dad said. So what did he say? My dad told me to use the bucket to wash the car and not to make mess, not to make a mess. Okay, the direct one here. John, please turn the TV off, George said. So George asked John to turn the TV off, to turn the TV off. Very good. Now, we are going to rewrite the sentences using reported speech and the verbs are given. So we have here the verbs and then we are going to report the speech. Now here we have the quotations. Help me feed the horses, please, the farmer said to Darren. So we say, the farmer asked Darren to help him feed the horses. Very good. The farmer asked Darren to help him feed the horses. Excellent. Don't give me a hard time, my mother said. So we have the quotations because it's a direct speech. Don't will be not to. Yes, very good. And the verb that we are going to use is tell. So it's told. So my brother told. Um, yes, my brother told me not to give him a hard time. My brother told me not to give him a hard time. Now, please clean the mud off your shoes, Harry said to Mike. Okay, please. So, yes, very good. This is a request. It's clean. Yes, we are going to say ask. This is a verb. Let's uh, omit the quotation marks and start. Harry asked Mike to, yes, clean the mud off his shoes. Excellent. His shoes. Very good. Now, let's see number four. Don't move, the police officer said to the bank robber. So we say the police officer ordered the bank robber because we have the verb here ordered ordered the bank robber don't will transfer into not to move very good the police officer ordered the bank robber not to move excellent great job very good okay now think of something that has happened to you or imagine you are bill complete the notes below making up any information you need Try to make it funny, okay? Let's start. As an introduction, we'll answer these questions. When did it happen? Where did it happen? Who were you with? Okay, this is as an example. You can make up your own paragraphs, okay? So let's say, as an example, when did it happen? It happened a month ago. Where did it happen? Where did it happen? It happened in the village. Who were you with? Who were you with? With the grandfather. What happened in the end? What happened? So this is the conclusion. Okay, the main part, we can make up anything for the main part. Conclusion, what happened in the end? Never went fishing again. And then, how did you feel? Bad experience, not very good experience. So let's see. How can we write an account or a true event or imagine your bill and write what happened, use your notes from the activity and follow the plan. So these are the notes that we have done a month ago in the village, grandfather. Never went fishing again, not very good experience. This is the introduction, should conclude these sentences. In the conclusion, you should have or insert this information. Let's go to the plan. Read the plan below. When you're writing an account or of a true event, remember to use the first person singular or plural. It's either you use I because you're spe speaking about your own expert, uh, and then or we if you are in the plural form. Maybe you and your family, you're going to say we. The introduction, you're going to give some information about the setting of the event, when and where it happened, who were you with, etc. The main part, you describe what happened. You remember to use the past tenses in these parts. 
while using linking words, phrases, and expressions to make it interesting for the reader. And then you have conclusion. Of course, when you use linking words here, you make the story more coherent and joined in a very smooth way. Okay. So, and in the conclusion, you are going to describe the event, how it ended, and make a short comment about your own experience. Okay. This is our plan. Okay. Now we are going to start. Let's remember this is done only as an example. We are going to read. About a month ago, I was in my grandfather's house in the village. It was the weekend, and my grandfather was going to teach me how to fish. We arrived at the lake early in the morning, and as the time passed, my grandfather felt sleepier and sleepier. In the end, he fell asleep on the boat, and I continued fishing and enjoying the landscape. Suddenly, I caught a huge fish. It was fighting to free itself from the hook, and I was trying not to let it escape. Before I knew it, I fell over the boat and into the cold water. Meanwhile, my grandfather had woken up and helped me get back on the boat. Of course, I never went fishing again. It was an unforgettable experience, but in a good, but not in a good way. Okay, so this is the whole paragraph. We are going to see. We are going to see the sections, the introduction, the main idea, and the conclusion. Okay, according to what is written. Let's see. Okay. About a month ago, I was in my grandfather's house in the village. It was the weekend, and my grandfather was going to teach me how to fish. So what is this? Very good. This is what we call, okay, this is, uh, this is what we call the first part of the sentence, okay? Then here we arrived at the lake early in the morning, and as the time passed, my grandfather fell sleepier and sleepier. In the end, here's the linking way of words. He fell uh, asleep uh, on the boat, and I continued fishing and enjoying the landscape. Suddenly, another linking word, I caught a, a huge fish. Now he's starting to say the incident. Here we have the past tense verbs. Okay, meanwhile is another linking word. Okay, now the, this is the third part. Of course, I never went fishing again. It was an unforgettable experience, but not in a good way. Now he's experiencing what he has, uh, his emotions, his feelings about his trip. So let's see. The first part is the introduction. Yes, this is the introduction. It asks the main questions. It answered the main questions about where, with who, and when. And then here, this is the second part, which is the main idea that contains or consists of the events which are in the past tense and the linking words and the phrases. And then at the end here, we have the conclusion that expresses your opinion and feelings. Okay. Today, we learned how to identify structures of reported speech, and we wrote a paragraph about true events containing the introduction, the main part, and the conclusion. Today's references were Full Blast 6 Students Books, Full Blast 6 Teacher's Guide, and Google Clip Arts for Pictures. Thank you for attending today's lesson. Hope you had fun and enjoyed. See you next time.